My name is Gloria Ibarra Recchi. Um, I uh, started teaching, what, 50 years ago? My dad was a custodian and a maintenance man with the district, and I was a lot, around a lot of Hispanic teachers um, when I was growing up. Uh, so they were kind of like role models to me, and I thought that's what I want to be. And I majored in physical education, and I picked biology as my second teaching field. I, I always tell everybody I'm a product of Galena Park ISD. Every in-service, everything that has ever been since 1974, I've been through it. So uh, technology, uh, everything, classroom management, all this stuff, here I am. <laughs> Helping kids graduate. They put all the tax kids that needed to pass science to graduate, and I helped, okay? They were, they gave me, <laughs> the kids are the ones that I, that I, <laughs> sorry. Just those memories of them coming in and saying, hugging me and saying, thank you so much, you know, and, one of my teachers, she's now an administrator at, at, in, in Goose Creek. She was so upset one day. She had had a bad day. I was a department chair at Galena Park, and she had had a really bad day. And um, she wanted to quit, and she wanted to do this and whatever. And I said, it's OK. Those are the bad days. You'll have one day, one little kid is going to come up to you and tell you, thank you so much for being my teacher. And uh, that'll be the best thing. And then she came back. She was crying. <laughs> the, like two days later, she goes, you were right. They came in and they told me this. I can't stand it. I said, what do you think now? She says, this is the best job. I go, yeah, that's the best job. Because you're touching kids and you're touching lives. And if you weren't there, you, you know, what would have happened to them? If you weren't there with the passion that you have for these kids, you know, who would be? I'm sure somebody would take my place, but you know, I don't know. That's why I keep teaching. I always tell everybody it's the money, but to me, it's these children that are around me that like I told the guy yesterday who took my picture, I feel like a vampire, I get their energy, <laughs> you know, from them. I get a lot of energy from them. They come in knocking at the door and waving to me. That, you know, is like the best thing. See how I tear up? Because it's really emotional for me. It's like, I, I, I like helping kids. You are so powerful as a teacher. You can influence all sorts of stuff with them. You can either be negative and bring them down, or you can be their positive, their one positive thing that they see every single day. The first things that I tell new teachers when they come into the profession and they're having trouble with classroom management and stuff, I say the only thing that you have to do to take care of your classroom management is to let your kids know that you care about them. And once they know that you care about them, everything changes. Uh, be a team player, you know. That's the one thing Mr. Morrow, my principal and my fearless leader, uh, has been working on in our, in our campus is being a good team leader and a, a good team person, you know. Um, doing your best to, to, to work with your campus as a team and do the best because the bottom line is about the kids and do everything. Everything you do should be for the betterment of the success of your students.